Okay, so next we're going to check out Show Me Interactive Whiteboard. So you can go ahead and download that and install it. It's going to ask you to allow Show Me to send you notifications. That's up to you. I usually hit Don't Allow for that because I don't want my iPad to be constantly sending notifications to me. When you first open up Show Me, it's going to give you a short tutorial. You're more than welcome to go through that. Uh, you would just swipe from screen to screen. It's just going to give you some quick and easy tips on how to use Show Me. And it's going to explain that you can actually share these Show Me's to anyone, even if they don't have an iPad, because the way that you export your screencast, it allows you to share that in multiple formats. And it allows you to share that video as a universal format with anyone so that they can use, so that they can see your Show Me and your screencast from any device. It's also going to show you just the, the quick tutorial on the different buttons and the different icons that you will use in Show Me. Right here it's showing you the record button, the erase button, the add pictures, the undo, and the clear. Okay, so this is a very straightforward interactive whiteboard. I would say that if this would be one of the first ones that I would start with. It's very simple. Sometimes when you get these interactive whiteboards or other apps, they just have way too much going on and they become overcomplicated. That's why I chose to utilize Show Me in the Classroom because it's very easy to use no matter what the age level, grade level, the subject, you can use it for all kinds of different things. So this will be a very quick tutorial. If you want to record your video, you hit the record button in the middle. If you want to draw anything, you can just start drawing whatever you need to draw in the middle. Maybe you're asking your students questions and just having them write down the answers and showing them on your iPad to you. It's very simple. If you want to erase, you just click the eraser. And the eraser function is very simple. You can change the color of what you're drawing. And my advice to you is sometimes to give your students options to draw pictures using these interactive whiteboards. After I've done this multiple times with some of these different apps, you would be surprised at how artistic some of your students are using digital platforms like Show Me or anything on an iPad. They're just very, very talented at using these interactive whiteboards. You can also create and write text just by clicking on the, the uppercase A and the lowercase A. And then you can tap anywhere. You can change the color of the text. You can change the size of the text by hitting the plus or minus button. You can create multiple slides by these arrows in the upper right hand corner. You can add pictures. You can either take a photo, search for images on the web, choose a different background. So I'm going to show you that. If you want to add grid paper for any math, they have a music note background for you music teachers out there. So those are the backgrounds. You can choose anything from Dropbox or Google Drive. You can take a photo or just choose a photo from your camera roll. So I'm going to choose a photo just like what we were doing with Edu Creations. I'm going to allow Show Me to have access to my photos and I can select photos that I have. Now my students are currently learning about volcanoes. And when I add this photo to this, I can either edit the text, I can move it to the front, I can rotate it, I can resize it by reverse pinching, or pinching the image. When you're satisfied with how the image looks, you just hit this Done button. And then to re-edit it, you will just tap and hold the picture in order to edit the picture again. Okay, so this is just a picture of a volcano and the different parts of a volcano. So if you were going to edit this, you could either have students type it in or just have them write it in. It's up to you. So if you were going to make a quick recording, just like in Edu Creations, I'm going to hit the record button. It's going to ask for access to your microphone. You're going to have to hit OK. And when you're done, you can hit the pause button. And it's going to stop your recording. When you're satisfied and complete with your recording, you hit done. You can save it as a draft or save as complete. I'm going to save as complete. And it's showing me my quick video here. Now, obviously, I didn't write anything in here, but if I did, it would show you. You can either delete it and redo it, or you can save it. So I'm going to save this, and I'm just going to create a quick title for this show me. You create a topic. Whenever you're done adding topics, you hit Done Adding Topics. This is where you're going to create a new Show Me account. 
You can either sign up with Google. You can sign up with Edmodo if you're a subscriber to that, with Facebook, Twitter, Office 365, or just sign up with your email. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with my email. I'm going to advise you to either sign up with your Google account or with your own email. Before you're done signing up, it's going to ask for your birthday. It's just a restriction that they have for legal purposes. So you just write your birthday, you click sign up. Now it's going to ask you for the topics that you want to learn about. You don't have to click any of this, uh, so you can just hit the next button. It's going to ask if you want to share this show me with your Facebook friends. I'm going to click no thanks. And this is the main dashboard here for show me. So whenever you want to create a new show me, you're going to hit the green plus button. You can also add groups to your show me. So you can start a group or join a group. Maybe you create a group for your class. So if you do that, you would just say, hey, this is my class, and this is where you would um, have a sign up. So maybe this is my classroom tech class. You'd hit create, and this is where you would invite your students. Notice that you have a group code to where all of your students will enter that group code in order to join your group. Students would click join a group, and then they would enter that code that you just provided them. So don't forget, we're in this main dashboard here. I'm going to go back to my show me's just to show you where we're at. If you want to look at the explore tab, this is where other show me's from other people have been posted. And you can actually take these show me's and you can save them yourself. So if you would like to watch this show me, you can share that show me by clicking the share button. You can flag it or copy this link. Maybe you want to add this show me to Google Classroom, something like that. Certainly is a possibility. So you have access to all kinds of different show me's that other teachers have created. Notice on the left hand side, you have these different subjects that you can click and find these different show me's on. This one is a lesson explaining the water cycle. And it's got these different topics that you can use. Now if you click on the courses button, this is an area where there will be multiple show me's on a particular course. This one um, is the eight parts of speech and notice that it has multiple videos. This one has eight videos all about the different parts of speech. Once again, you can either share it, email this course, you can follow this user. You have all these different options with these courses. So you can search for specific lessons or you can search for courses. Now from this main dashboard in Show Me, you can look at the courses that you have. You can create this new course. Maybe you're doing a, a course on a particular subject or topic. This is where you would create a new course. This is the area of the people who you are following, kind of like Twitter or Facebook or something along those lines, and how many followers you have of your courses and your videos that you've created. And this is just the activity, the recent activity from you, and then notifications. From this main dashboard, if you hit this red plus button, you can always create a new show me. So that is the basic function of show me. Once you first get logged in, it will give you this main dashboard. This is the area where it's going to be your home screen every time you open up show me. You can have your students create show me's. One of the things that I really like to do is I like to put my students in the position of being the teacher. After I give them the general idea about a concept, I like to put them in that driver's seat as being a teacher and explaining topics to other students. That is where you're going to get the web's depth of knowledge, level three and four that we're always talking about. Okay, so if there are any more questions, feel free to contact me at corey at classroomtechmadesimple.com. We'll see you next video.